Alright everyone, Nate and Beth once again stopping on by, coming at you to continue our reviews of Friday the 13th, the series, in this case... <laughs> Season 3, Episode 4, Crippled Inside. Oof! I don't know what we guessed, but I don't, I don't know. think it really matters. Yeah, I don't know if it's any point in doing any more guessing. <laughs> we are, what's it called? What? Our track record hasn't been very good with the guessing so or at least every now and again we get lucky mine hasn't so who, <laughs> who wants to start um i do want to say that this has kind of got the original feel back to it with uh the first you know season well uh, first couple of seasons it, but yeah it, maybe it even feels more like that the only thing I don't like about this season three is the whole prequel thing and then get into the episode so it's prequel opening and then oh, the episode. first first part of the episode then I'm, I'm then used to it being yeah, the opening so and then I understand but I can agree I this is my favorite so far as season three this, this good. felt like an actual Friday the 13th the series episode Got from the spook back yeah, and yeah, and the we, we we weren't sure if they were just gonna ditch the cursed items thing or not. So this has the kind of possessed by, you know, possessed by an item to do evil thing back. And I guess we should briefly explain what happens. Pretty sad beginning where this guy's on this date with this nice girl, only for her to find out that. Well, <clears throat> he's tricking her to get to get. It's kind of like I spit on your grave scene. There where, you go. That's a good way to describe it. Yeah, maybe we can simply nice say, to that. say that. And uh, well, yeah, sensitive material for those who are sensitive to material. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, and surprising. It was supposed to be a four-on-one. Her being the one, and the guys being, being the four. The four, and, and the one doesn't really want it, so. For those yeah. who haven't seen I Spit in Your Grave, hopefully that's enough to let yeah, them know and, exactly. And see it, the original one. It's right. it's fun if you <laughs> like that kind of thing. But so this And guy, also, check out Matt and I's review of it. One of uh, the ha, ha, most okay. viewed videos on this channel. Wow. I'm so plugging my own channel on the channel. You're plugging your own channel. So, it starts out with this guy taking the girl to an outside concert. So he says, because the line gets used elsewhere. And he tricks her into going into the middle of this forested area. And all of a sudden, three other guys are joining. And they, <laughs> they want to do a nice bit in your grave scene. And she ends up running away. And unfortunately, she gets hit by a car and paralyzed from the neck down. Oh. Which is really sad because she wanted to be a figure skater. And she's really strong. But uh, they flash ahead like a year. I can't remember. Probably. Um, and she just wants to sit by, she wants to just be by herself. She doesn't, she's not going to school, maybe homeschooled. And, um, mom makes her go on a walk and on this walk they go to a garage You sale. might wonder how she goes on a walk. She's got a mom, oh, she's an electric chair. chair that she controls with her chin. So depressing. Yeah, kind of sad. So mom wanted to go electric out. Electric wheelchair. Electric wheelchair. Mom wanted to go out for a walk and mom sees a, an estate sale, I guess. And, um, and in the estate sale, there's this wicker rocking chair, like the 1920s or 30s kind of rocking chair, where it's a wicker chair with the big wheels in the front and the little wheels in the back. It's really cool. And I still think that's the best design for a wheelchair, because those couldn't tip over. Right. Fall, tip back as much. And then, then when they put the front, the small wheels in the front, then all they of a sudden, tippy. yeah, you, the, the, the tendency to tip back was much more whatever, but Beth's okay. getting annoyed. <laughs> so an old man approaches the young girl who's paralyzed and says, you like the chair? He brings a tour. It healed me. It can heal you. And she calls over her mom, and mom talks to old man, how much do you want for it? Oh, it's a gift. Aww. I'm going to give it to you. So time passes by, and mom, I guess, picks up the chair, and girl just wants to sit in it and sit by the window. But while she's in the chair, 
she notices, she looks down and she thinks she's actually moving her fingers, but it's like, uh, what did I say? I said it in the, in the, the in the movie, in the, in the theater, I said it in the theater, I said it while we were watching it. Um, oh yeah, it was a big high flutin, high, <laughs> really, really intelligent <laughs> word. I can't, I can't remember it. It's trans-dimensional, but not trans-dimensional. Yes, that's something like that. She gets out of her body, but she's not. Her body's still in the chair, but she's out of her body, like an out-of-body experience. And then she goes to the high school where the four boys were trying to steal answers to a chemistry, <laughs> chemistry test. Some test, yeah. So one the guy goes into school and goes into the chemistry lab, and she's, like, all of a sudden materialized. I can't think of the word. That's fine. But, uh... Guy's all freaked out because she's walking and talking, and he ends up running into like a very safe, safely guarded, unguarded uh, shelf of chemicals and acid, and, and it ends uh, up spilling on him. And a very gory, very acid dissolve for television shows. So they finally, only had like two seconds, but yeah, it was there. So finally, for the first time in season three, smiles graced upon across our faces and we're like <laughs> <decent> yay <laughs> bloody bubbly gore so yeah, bubble, he, bubble, bubble. His, he's all crying out and then when the guys come back to see what had happened is well they his hear whole, him screaming yeah his whole face was like bubbly and and they it was like a fake little bubbly head that had been acidized so that was fun and then i guess he called out the girl's name rachel maybe i can't remember so they're all freaked out. They leave. He's dead. They leave. So that's the first kill. Um, total of five kills, just to which, get that out of the way, which was impressive. Again, more like the first two seasons. Yeah. So then... Uh, I should say more like season one. Season two kind of faded a little bit, so maybe they're coming back strong with the third season. We can hope. So do you want to describe the next kill? I can't even remember. You can do what it. What is the next kill? Yeah, you can. Oh! Um, oh, it was fall on off the roof. The roof yeah. yeah. Oh, so we all should. So then she returns to her physical self, sitting oh, in right. the chair, and then she can just barely wiggle the fingers, and then she kills the other guy, and then and she, she can, can move, move her arms. arms. Right. So the more she kills, the more she can move. Obviously. So with and, each, I mean, she just wanted confession. She didn't realize that killing them is what she needed to do, and the old man kind of. I don't know if the old man was there or not because yeah, he kind of phased out in he, one of the scenes. He's probably some kind of apparition, maybe that that travels a lot around maybe. with the chair. Maybe he does travel so, with the chair. So uh, we can either describe or not the you know the way she opts the other guys. I don't think it's necessary. It's up to you. I mean, no, those just the well. It was the interesting because the first two because, were like accidents, right? And then she was this what you were gonna just say. Well, and then she gets more hands-on. She definitely gets more hands-on. Well, the third kill, which we I thought he was safe because he actually told someone that he did it, but I guess it wasn't the police, and maybe it didn't matter at that point. Cause there's she this one, out. one guy who's kind of... It, it very much is like I spit on your gripe. The one, the one guy didn't want to do it. No. And we thought that guy was safe. Turns out he wasn't. Mm -hmm. She He got... Pretty killed almost worse than well no the acid was pretty bad <laughs> the acid was pretty bad we'll see as I was gonna say like the she runs out so they don't physically push her in front of the car she just runs in front of the car so they right, don't so, physically touch her yeah. and then the first two kills the What's guy the runs thing? into the shelf of acid and the other guy falls off a roof so she's not physically she didn't touch so then them. I think Beth was the, appreciating that yeah and but the third one was more hands-on she, she like, cut a rope to to smash a guy with the curious well, goods uh she kind of pulled the reverse I spit on your grave and <laughs> anchored him down to some display case in the store because he comes to the store to talk to Johnny about and he's looking, the girl. Johnny's not there. He's looking through the till. And the girl shows up. Yeah. yeah, so a little bit of I spit on she your grave. She seduces him and cuts this chandelier off and kind of electrocute slash... Oh, yeah. When it hits him, I think he's getting electrocuted. Yeah, yeah kind of gory. And then Johnny comes no, just really. to see... Uh, aftermath. Him, aftermath, and watches her disappear and giggle, giggle and disappear. Um, oh, and the, the original guy was, I guess, waiting at the house. 
Because mom, fig mom is kind of not dumb. She's figuring it out, but she doesn't know what's going on. She just figures out something bad is going on. And she wants to get rid of the chair. And the old guy... Oh, actually, Johnny does get the chair from the girl. Because she's, like, stuck in bed. Because she can't get out of bed. Oh, yeah, Johnny does. Oh, we should also mention that this episode, they're really giving it to Johnny. Because Marshak's nowhere to be found. And oh, Mickey yeah. leaves right at the beginning of the episode. Because and... Marshak got Medusa's shard in Europe. So oh, yeah. there's another cursed item. So this is pretty much a Johnny-only episode. Yeah. So way to go, Johnny. But like Beth says, he did manage to go to the to get house, the chair. get the chair. And this is really he interesting. He wants to put it in the trunk and the old guy is there. And like I say, the old guy probably is an apparition that's a part of the chair. So the chair, in essence, maybe, if I'm understanding correctly, the chair is the one who taught Johnny out of taking it. No, oh, give it oh, back yeah. to the... The yeah. apparition of the person for the chair. Mm -hmm. The advocate. So, yeah, because I don't think anyone really... S no, the mom talked to the old man, but again, he's like well, kind of a salesperson. Other so people can see him. Yeah, doesn't mean he don't right. travel along with the chair. Or but, isn't a uh, part of the cursed chair, but... The guy talks Johnny into giving the chair back, and uh, the final kill, I guess the f the original guy was still in the house, like, somehow hiding. Yeah, that was confusing. And um, Mom is trying to get her away from the chair, because she wants to go in the chair. Mom's pulling her out of the chair, pulling her down the stairs, down the hallway, down the stairs. <laughs> this guy comes out of nowhere, knocks out Mom, and so now it's... A uh, girl crawls into the chair, and he's like, oh, yay, now she's in the wheelchair. I can, you know, wheel her down, down the, the stairs, stairs and get rid of her. And she kind does this, a... she does the out-of-body experience thing and chokes him till he passes out, but he's not dead. So she, she thinks he's dead. Yeah. She gets back in the chair, and she's like, oh, I should be able to feel my legs. Why is it not working? And... I guess mom wakes up and the guy's like, oh, I'm going to get you. And they both fall down the no, stairs. No, the guy's going to go push her and the girl grabs him and then pulls him down with her. Oh, yeah. So they both get on the stairs. Kind, that's a really, kind of a sad that's a death. really good ending, appropriate. Because now, you know, what the guy was going to do to her, she grabs him, does it to him, yeah. both of them. They both die. They both presumably, Mom's horrified only child. Pr presumably both break their necks, her maybe for the second time and... Mom's mm. mom's lets out quite the ghastly scream for a television show and But all in all, I think this happily... deserves a full thumbs up. Wow. <laughs> it's been a while since I've been able to give a full thumbs up. How about you? I wasn't even thinking about it, but but now that I am thinking about it, maybe I can agree, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> maybe. Okay. So well, why don't I, give I, it a full why don't I just agree? I'll just, I'll agree. I'm not trying to I'll pressure you. I'll give it you. a full thumbs up. Well, yeah, you know, we don't have Mickey to look at, but we do have the girl in the wheelchair to look at. So full thumbs up. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, this was, it had some filler, but it was really more nah, action. Li limited filler. Limited filler. It still had filler, but it was like purposeful filler. Like it, it led you to the next scene filler. So that was cool. So the next episode, we're going to disc two, it looks like. And it's going to be uh, Stick It In Your Ear. So God, that could be a anything. Curse Q Tip. Could be music. Curse Q Tip. Curse Q -tip. Because we're doing so good with our cursed item guessing. Or maybe that doctor thing that they look in your ear with. Ooh. Could be another doctor thing. But, uh, no, this was a fun episode. This I hope was you guys fun agree. And, and I, I, now we're just, you know, we're looking at the playback of the screen saving the TV, seeing the guy come in who's going to get killed. I did think it was an interesting way that the, the episode went where it made you think, like, that one guy who didn't do anything was going to be gonna, safe. Yeah. But then when she was, she was tying him down and about to kill him, she's telling the guy... Well, you're the worst because you did nothing. So it was kind of like kinda true. The, the possessed. Well, not, not in my eyes. I mean, if you he doing nothing isn't year. as bad as doing the evil deeds. But, but he could have gone to the cops. But it's just what I'm saying is it was just a surprise yeah. as a viewer. 
her, and it was like her possessed by the chair, demented way of looking at it. Yeah, I think like, after the second kill, she is more yeah. possessed by the chair than the than the chair. The more it's giving to her, the more she's giving to the chair. That's true. And even if you didn't do anything, I'm gonna kill you anyway. Because you were part of the group. You know? Yeah. And you didn't say anything for like a year. So I can, I can kind of see her point of view where he's oh. the worst of them. Or he wanted to say something but didn't. But he was threatened not to. Oh God, did we want to talk about the freaking thing at the very end where he's like, well, now Johnny's like, now that I got the chair, I'll just smash it up so no one else can get, uh, get it. And what happened? He grabbed an axe and went to smash it. And <laughs> what happened, Beth? Well, the axe just kept bouncing off the cursed item because cursed items cannot be destroyed. Now, when he started doing that, were you, like, worried that it was going to start breaking apart? Or no. Or you figured it was going to... I thought he was going to hurt himself with the axe. It was really kind of a <laughs> funny way to end the episode because it's that's it's the last, you know, thing that happened. And Johnny's and... by himself, and I don't think he knows... He's no, new. what's he's so great is it. he probably doesn't know that... Uh, cursed items can't be destroyed or burned So he's or just, anything. like, chopping it forever, and then they do a freeze frame on a mid-chop, and it's just, like, kind of a... Kind of a funny, unintentionally funny ending. Johnny's thinking. I think what it the is fuck? intentional. This guy's like, "Oh, we're gonna, you're not going to be around forever, but the chair is, and so will I, and you, we're going to eventually win." And he's like, "Oh, fuck that!" And he just starts to destroy the chair, but can't. Was... It'll be fun to see if he continues that into the next episode. Or yeah, Mickey, or if there, or... someone will tell him what's up with them. Yeah, I tried to chop that wooden chair up, and it wouldn't... <laughs> oh, about that, Johnny. <laughs> so, yeah, I very... It took them long enough, but uh, To do I a good it. one? A okay. good one. Maybe there's some hope for season mm -hmm. three. Some hope yet. All right, everyone, does that do it? I think so. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening.